hello everyone uh, welcome back to my channel on this video I'm gonna show you that how we can upload a file uh, using the react applications and I already built the uh, this Express app where we can upload the, the file uh, and we can also upload the multiple files and I'm gonna show you that one first I already created that, that video with angular which I'm gonna put the link below if you guys are if you guys are interested then you guys can check that that video as well but on this video I'm gonna only uh, show you the code I'm not gonna type it on the uh, back end part but I'm gonna type or uh, the write the code on on the front end on the react so I'm gonna show you the first thing what it's the back end application does to work so here it's this is the uh, Express app and basically it's an express app uh, it has a course here and it's using the multer uh, which is uh, taking care of the uh, file upload and it's running on local of 4000 and this is the app i initiated and here i put a course option of 4200 because i was running this on the uh angular app before but now i have to change to the 3000 course because i put the course options here so here is a course so i need to change this to 3000 because my uh front end is running on the local host 3000 here and this is the uh, welcome whenever it's uh, this is not impo important but this is the index uh, it just index uh, uh, route and it just give you the welcome to express and this is the the storage and the storage is going to be an upload folder right here whenever it's going to upload it's going to upload the file in upload folder and this is the file name the extension of the file name is it's providing the date and the the original name with extension of the file here and it's basically storage and this storage is used as a multer if you guys doesn't know about the multer then of course you guys can check the multer npm there is a really good documentation which is provided by, by the multer dev and you guys can check here it's, it's provided all the documentation and i'm using the one of these called dick storage uh, one of these, it's written here somewhere about the dick storage if i search then it's here and it's pro you need to provide the extensions and a file and put it on this upload here and once i put an upload then i can use this upload in my uh the express route here right and i'm not using any routing tools of express for this i'm just directly use something called post and if it's file then it's gonna upload a single file it's gonna upload a single file and in a single file it will return you a JSON here and similarly with the multi file I'm gonna use this upload upload is coming from here and this upload in the multi file I'm gonna put the multi files here and it's gonna upload the multi file and this all app express app the tiny express app is running on listening the port which is 4000 so let's run this app so i will go to new terminal and if i i don't want to change anything so i can run directly on node app or i can use a node mon because i already installed a node money on the my machine so i can use a node mon so now it's running on 4000 and if i go to the localhost 4000 here guys then uh, it will give me this welcome to express test which i wrote it here all right now i can upload a file which is using the uh, file uh, of course i need to uh, use as uh, the post and also the multi file okay so now i'm going to use it the express to upload a file and i don't have anything on the folder at this time so let's go to my front end which is going to be my express here and as you know i don't have anything sorry i said express my in react here as you know i my react is running in a cli i built this application using the cli and uh, yeah it doesn't have anything i just put it here the test and now it's going to put me a test where is it uh, hold on guys okay okay so i'll just need to save this am i running this let me check 
yep it is running it i need to refresh I'm not sure why it doesn't refresh before but uh, it's going to show me a test here and which is fine but i'm not i'm just going to upload a file here i'm not going to do anything here so my test is here so i'll literally go to the code and i'll type it out the input and after the input what i'm going to type is this is going to be the type called the file and whenever this file on change right whenever this file is going to be a change then i'm going to upload a picture right here and here i get the event of course and in the event i can get the files i'm going to upload a single file i'm not going to do any validations here so i'm just going to use the target dot files here and uh, i will get the files on the first one and i will print that file here okay so before i use this file i just want to make sure that i install the uh the axios package which i i have it here because i'm using the axios package to send to do a post request okay so now i have it here so let's me test what i can see my files here or not so i will just choose i'll just click on this button and i will go to my uh pick which is uh, this pick you know what i'm um, let me pick to let me go to the different pick here and on this picture i'm going to use this and now i can see my file here which is good now i have my file which is here now only i need to do is post i can post using it i can create another function here called post file i guess or i can directly write it down or it's really it doesn't even matter where you create it it's really up to you but i will use something called post file here and on this post file uh, i will get the event and uh, not even I will just directly get the file so I will just use the post a file here I'll put in my file now I can get the file here and here I can use the axios uh, in axios which is coming from the of course from axios and axios I can use something called post and whenever it's posting and it I need to tell where it's going to post it and that the post is need to be need to go to the local host 4000 i know it is one slash file or files i am not sure so i need to check it here it's a file whenever it's file then it's uploading a single file so this is going to be like this is my going to be endpoint so i'm going to use this endpoint on here and post once I use this, then Axios would also take a data on my second parameter. This is optional and also the config is also optional. I'm not going to put any config like header stuff. I'm just going to put the data and data is going to be formed data. And whenever this is a success, then I can use then or can or then also you by using a promise or I could use the await and async syntax as well so i will get the results here so whenever i get the results i can see my results what i get it and here i need to provide my form data it doesn't know what is going to be my form data so i will create a new form data here as a new instance of the form data and form data is basically nothing it's just a key and value pair you need to provide and you can use the append function here and my key is going to be file and this is my file i'm going to submit and that's all that's all guys and i can also check if anything's happened i can use a try and catch inside this if something error is pop up then also show me a error error okay so now let's try this where is it my react app here it is i'll reload it what happened doesn't even show it before such a weird uh, happen here so let's save it and i don't have anything i've upload let me check I upload this successfully uploaded it's giving me a file which is going to upload 
if I check I can see my files here and this is the file which just I just uploaded so now let's me upload the, the multi file on react so to upload a multi file what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in my HTML uh, oh there is no HTML file so I'm gonna create the another one here uh, exactly the same one here but this is going to be a multiple so I'll just type here a multiple so now I can upload a multiple file here using this one and it's also doing the post file but I will tell them that okay mul mul m u l t i multiple files and I'm going to tell them that okay this is going to be multiple file and in a multiple file in multiple file I will get the file list here I need to change a little bit here so I'll get the all the files not the first one but all the files here and this is going to be file list so once I get the all the file list what I can do is I can loop this file list using the for loop and in the for list is a length it will give me the length this file list has a I can show you what the file list has guys so I will just first uncomment this one I'm going to show you what the file is has if I upload this if I select two picture then file is gonna be give me the uh, the list of the file that's a file is and it will give me the length which is two and from this length I can get it and I can loop this guy here and once I loop it I can get it uh, in this array index okay here I can get the each of the file okay and once I get the each of the file then I need to put it in my form data here okay so this is going to be my form data and each of the form data I can upload my file here okay once I upload each of the file then I can use this to call this API you know what I'll put this and I will use the exact same one I don't have to do this again so here I will just say post files and uh, oops I'll use this post file here and it will take the form data here and in this post on this post file we'll check the form data and I'm going to use this post file here and here I'll put the form data which is my first single file and for the second one I'm going to use the post file here as a second one I'm also still getting a error because this will take as async call so I'll just write here async I don't need to write here async now okay so now what happened is I already uploaded one picture so let me upload a two more picture and open it and now it's giving me a uh, error because I'm uploading a two pictures and I'm still giving giving a same uh, endpoint if I go in my node app I have a different endpoint for uploading multiple files and in my node which is back in right here I have something called multi files for uploading uh, multiple files so I just need to change this to multiple files oh Oh yeah, different. This going to be, of course, different files, not not the same in point. So, hold on. So this is going to be a different files here. So I can use the same one, but uh, I need to provide different files. So what I can do is I can tell what's going to be my endpoint also. Okay. So I'll. I will send the endpoint as a parameter so I don't have to type this again and here I'll tell them okay this is going to be file and this is going to be a uh, multi multi file I'm not exactly sure is a multi file or multi files it's a multi files and the first one is a files 
so multi files i'll just save it now that will work so now if i go if nothing is here then it's gonna save it i do this it's gonna okay it's gonna print it it's gonna insert it give me the two fill has inserted if i check my backend app then i can see my three of these files has been inserted see so now if i go in first one and i can only pick one i can pick the multi on this one i can put this guy it's gonna save it and it's gonna save it right here so I'm going to put this my backend code also this react code on a github and hopefully you guys learn something new on this video and Please uh, subscribe my channel if you guys like my video I'm going to put a more video on a different trick uh, of the tech world I'm going to also make a videos for backend now uh, soon <laughs> and please uh, Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel Thank you very much for watching guys. Bye for now.